data tips here so today we are going to learn about how we can spin up the pod and we can access it over the browser so inside the pod we are going to run an HTML page and we can see how we can access it so to do so what we need to do is uh, first you need to uh, install the Kubernetes obviously and then uh, what we can do is we can create a directory okay so in my case I have created a pod directory inside this pod we are going to place each files okay so the index.html file which you can see here is going to be our web page which are going to deploy and access it over the browser and this index.html is our EMI calculator which are which we are going to deploy on the pod so I'll paste the link uh, about this index.html code uh, in the description and you can follow that link so once we have created this index.html we are going to save it as index.html and it's easy uh, to create this file on uh, windows if you are on mac or linux probably we can you can use the vim editor uh, so the vim editor how we can create that index.html maybe you can vim index.html you can write something like this since i already have that index.html probably i'll write uh, test.html okay so the file has been created so once you are and once you are into the vim editor you can just press i so you can see now you are in insert mode now you can paste your code or write your code okay so in my case i'll write like xyz and once that is done you are done writing your code you can press escape button now you are out of the insert mode and now press colon w w means right and q means quit so that means it will save your code and quit from the vim editor once you hit enter okay now i am out of the vim editor now if i cat test.html you can see uh, my code has uh, been updated inside that file that way you can do uh, update your index.html as well okay once your index.html has been created what you can do is let's create a docker file so i have already created a docker file as well so this is my docker file so inside this docker file what is happening we are uh, fetching the base image which is nginx nginx is a web server open source web server okay so what we are going to do is we are going to replace this nginx index.html file with our uh, index.html file okay so we are going to copy the index.html file and going to replace it uh, with this index.html file okay so we will copy this and we will remove this index.html file okay so here i have uh, given uh, only index.html because we are going to look for this file into the current directory okay so you can save this as a docker file and make sure it is the name would be the same like docker file like this because when you run this uh, docker build command it will look for the docker file like this okay so the name has to be same okay so index.html file and docker file both should be in the same path okay once uh, you are done with these let's create the image so how we can create the image uh, we can just simply uh, run the command first let me show you the uh, file in my directory by putting the ls command so here you can see i have index.html and i have docker file as well okay so let me clear the screen okay now let me run the docker build command docker build t t means i'm giving a tag a name emi since i am creating the emi calculator my application name so i am giving it the emi 
then dot dot means uh, we are uh, our docker file uh, is in the current directory so we are giving it a dot okay so if you hit enter the image has been uh, created okay so how you can check you can just simply run docker images so i have lot of images so what i'll do is i'll run docker images and then grab hyphen i i means case insensitive and emi so this is our image okay that emi now we have our image what we can do is we can deploy our image okay how we can deploy to deploy our image we can create deployment.yml file so i have uh, created a deployment.yml file here as well so inside this deployment.yml you need to follow the exact syntax and make sure you are good with the indentation as well okay so here this is the api version v1 kind means pod means we are creating a pod so kind would be the pod metadata we are putting some information emi and namespace would be default if it would be a production application then maybe you could have switched or named it like some different namespace but make sure that particular namespace should be there on your cluster okay and then inside the specification we are spinning up the container and name would be the emi here dash means uh this will be a list okay and inside this we can pass the image policy okay so that way we can do so once you save it save it by deployment.yml you can give it as any name but i have given it uh, deployment.yml and saved it inside the same path log if i uh, put the ls command here you can see that deployment.yml is already there now how we can uh, spin up the pod using this so there is a simple command kubectl apply hyphen f so when you create any deployment file you always uh, write it like apply hyphen f means file and then you can give the deployment.yml file so if your file resides in some different place you can give it a fully qualified path okay so in my case it's in the current directory so i'm giving like this if you hit enter okay you will see the message pod emi has been created so how you can check this you can check using cube curl get pods okay if you can see maybe you can write it like this to be more specific hyphen i emi okay so you can see this particular pod is running okay so here it gives you the age i mean how long it has been running so it just started uh, 21 seconds ago so now your pod is running what's next the next step would be uh, how we can access this particular pod over the web browser so to access this particular uh, pod over the web browser we can just do a port forwarding so using the cube curl port forward emi emi would be your pod name on any po uh, port you can give like 8088 i have given and colon 80 okay if i run this okay so the process has been started so this is the url your local host url and then this port okay you can just copy it and paste it uh, on your browser okay so if i paste it here you can see our uh, calculator is working right if i put uh, some amount here and put uh, some percentage two years and calculate here you can see right it's giving everything so that's how uh, you can uh, spin up your pod and access it over the browser okay 
so if you think this video really helped you and you learn something please like this video and share with others and if you really think this video is good then uh, if you are uh, looking to learn more about the kubernetes stuff so there are few courses from the code cloud as well i'll put the uh, link in the description you can just go through with their courses and that's really uh, good courses that's how i also learn so thank you so much for watching